Hello and welcome back to Shadi no Kuni. And I decided to revert a little bit back to the very setting between the picture I cannot officially show and yeah, the afterthoughts. So after everything went black, as you can see right here. So yeah, you can skip ahead to where I left off the last time, but I'm starting off here again for those who chose to skip those parts, but still want to get, uh, yeah, how can I put it? The story itself, the plot itself, and I don't mean that kind of plot, but the plot plot that was occupied by other plot. So yeah, let's just get right into it and continue. Dot dot dots. We lay in an embrace for some time simply feeling each other's heartbeat. Our connection had given rise to new feelings inside of me. I would protect this girl forever. I made a promise to my heart and kissed her one more time. This is something I really missed. I... They said that they are kissing each other, but there was no picture of it where they did that. And that's what made me a little bit sad, honestly. Kenichi. Tsuki. Oh, Kenichi, I love you. Oh, I still can't do the voices. <laughs> Maybe I don't want or I can't. I, I don't even know. I just can't. This may... I can't let this sound go in my weird high-pitched voice. Sachi was sleeping until 7. She was as tired as you would expect someone who had just been caving to be and had a lot of physical exercise afterwards. And a lot of pounding and... Oh, it's, it's really... I mean, the last... If you saw the episodes already... And this episode that will come out at the same day I'm recording this, you know, that's the gap that was between the, f the last recording. She had exhausted quite a bit of energy today. Youth is a wonderful thing. I made my way outside to cool off as I pondered such things. I grabbed my pipe and lit it up. Phew. A sweet aroma filled my nostrils. Your first smoke in a while always has that special flavor to it. And yeah, again, don't smoke. Smoke is a really, really bad habit. I can't really say how much the difference is if you smoke weed because I don't have any experience with it. But I, the only thing I do know is that it is a drug. And drugs are bad, but it seems that... Weed is... Weed? I don't even know if this is a grey area or not. I mean, weed is basically a plant and it's it's not really a chemical thing that happens. Well, actually it does because you have to lit it on fire and litting something on fire is a chemical effect because you burn something, but still, it was a plant before. And I know it can mess up your head and everything, but... Uh, I think I would, I don't even know if I would try it if I, if given the opportunity, I don't know. I know that smoking cigarettes and tobacco and all that stuff is just bad, a waste of money, a waste of time and a waste of health and a health risk. So yeah, that I really say this is totally wah. But as I said... Uh, yeah, with weed, this is a totally different story where I really can't say if it's good or bad. I know it can mess you up, but I also know that it is some kind of medicine if you are in huge pain, like if you have cancer or something like that. And then I wouldn't judge anyone who smokes weed to ease the pain and have still the joy of life in him. But he... I think he only smokes that shit to... 
uh, to relieve himself of something in his past. Maybe he will even tell us someday why he's smoking weed. Yeah, man, I couldn't live without this stuff. Ah, oh, it'd be nice if the world were this peaceful forever. I had almost dozed off, pipe still in my mouth, when... Daddy! Mana? Oh yeah, Mana's back! Oh, I can't wait for her. Kenichi! Mana was running toward me so quickly that she seemed to be in danger of tripping over herself at any second. You are back! Sachi's fine too. She's sleeping up a storm right now. Mana was worried. Sorry about that. Where's the souvenir? Oh crap, I did say I would bring her one, didn't I? <clears throat> anyway, where did you go? I told you to stay here. If at all possible. She's such a cute girl. The weird thing is though, in the beginning of the game, they stated that every character in this game has the age of 18. And this girl definitely is an 18. I went shopping. I thought it'd be nice to have something good to eat when you guys came back. I see. Your attentiveness is quite admirable. Did anything weird happen while we were gone? Well, you shot such a good girl. Nope, I was house sitting just like you told me to. So give me my souvenir. Oh, do we really have to disappoint her? All right. I rummaged through my Dura Duralumine case, searching for something that could pass as a souvenir. Here you go, takoyaki. What? Takoyaki? Isn't takoyaki a sweet that is shaped like a fish? Why? Oh, okay, she's satisfied. Why did I have takoyaki in there anyway? Okay, you really know that she is a kid. This is the first time I've seen a cave takoyaki. Just kidding, baka. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Whoa, Nori Tsukomi? What? Where did you pick that up? Wait, 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 wait. Well, I've seen. This is the first time I've seen a cave takoyaki. Just kidding, stupid. What? Noi Tsukumi? What is Noi Tsukumi? Did they skip text here? I totally missed the context. Where did you pick what up? What is a Noi Tsukumi? Some guy with long bangs taught me. Maybe the bad language? Long bangs? Isono? Mm, it's Isono. Um, he said his name was Sepia. He looked pretty lonely. And then he said, as long as I add the word stupid at the end, Everything will work itself out. Yeah, insulting everyone at the end of a sentence. Great. You can't teach those things to little kids. Come on. You shouldn't use words like baka. Anyway, he came here every day to play. Wait, he babysitted you? 
troublesome little roach, huh? Mana, you're not to speak with him ever again. Huh? Aww. Is he really so bad? He doesn't seem that bad. He's a little bit fucked up in the head like everyone else in this. But still. Kenny Cheese orders. Come on, let's go. So, where's my real souvenir? Dot, dot, dot. I had failed to deceive her. Sorry. <coughs> oh. That night? What's that music? It sounds like something out of Final Fantasy. I sent Mana to the supermarket and forced my tired body to perform yet more action. Sachi's stop time provided a good opportunity to use her PC. The memory stick that Dad had left me. I tried to get at the contents with every PC trick I knew. In the end though, it proved proved futile without the password. I couldn't surmount the wall my dad had constructed, no matter what means I employed. I entrusted the password to Lyrico. Damn it! Couldn't wait. But just in case, if the time comes when you feel a certain dissatisfaction with this society, please take a look at the contents of this memory stick. I've been dissatisfied with this society for quite some time now, and as you can as you can probably guess. Ichan. I hunched over the keyboard. It was an exclamation mark, but I think that was more appropriate. Would he just put out Onichan? That would just sound weird. <laughs> <laughs> Special high-class individual. The only thing I could do was pass the exam as quickly as possible. And then save my sister. What happened to your sister? Is she held captive by the high-class individual organization? I swung by the store to pick up mana as usual. She went toward me with all the finesse of a chicken. Welcome back. Did it go well? Same as always. I see. Everything went well then. What? 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 Ah, Sepia no Nicha. I don't even need to do that because there's no real. You could have understood this. Whatever. Ohayo, Mana san. Kyo mo, Taiyo wa shigashi kara nobotte masu ka? Good morning, Mana san. Is the sun rising in the east today? Nobotte de yo! It sure is! Sore ja, kyo mo tsukomi no renshu wo shiyo ne. What is tsukomi? Please, someone tell me what tsukomi is. In that case, let's work on your tsukumi a bit more. Hi! Yeah, domo domo domo. Saikin atsukunat de kimashita ne. Man, it's been really hot lately. Yes, ne. Sure has. Boku nanka atsugite atsugite mainichi rezo kono naka de segatsuste masu yo. The fuck are they talking about? It's been so dang hot that I've been living in my refrigerator. Hey, just how big is your fridge? Wait, what? That was around 50 points? Demo, Dekireba Sono timing de Boku, Omikiri Butta Tite Kuruto, Yori Beta Kana. Wait, what? Mana, remember that you need to whack me something fierce while you're giving the tsukumi. Hey! 
なんだね What's up? What on earth did you just did I just witness? なにってマナさんが勉強したいと言っていたので僕がコーチしてるんだ What do you mean? マナさん told me that she wanted to learn stuff So I've been coaching her うんうんためになるよ<笑> Yeah yeah It's really educational. You little punk! I won't stand for it if you start teaching Mana weird crap. So na koto yori, o kaeri. Anyway, welcome back. He started acting all cute out of nowhere. Y yeah, thanks. Mana san wa honjitsu o motte sotsugyo to shimas. Mana san. Today is the day you graduate. Eh? Already? Hmm. Wait, what the? Okay. Yep, I entrust the rest of your edu education to Morita kun. Oh boy. See ya! He flashed us a toothy, toothy grin and left the scene. He hadn't been hanging out with Mana to protect her while we were in the cave, had he? That was my first guess. He babysitted her and kept her company while you were gone. Come on, show some appreciation at least. I, I, I still don't know how to... Camera. Keiji, come on! Kenichi, let's go. I want to see your nature. Ah, Mana, o kaeri. Oh, oh, welcome back, Mana. Wait, what was her voice? I'm going to give it my all with full power today, or something like that. <clears throat> okay, what was? Damn it, I shouldn't do that. I mean, uh. The thing I just did. For the sole reason that it can hurt my voice. And I really like my voice more or less. The only thing I regret is that I can't do female voices. But I think that's the bane of men. Because if I if I would be a girl. And I would just pitch down my voice. I would sound like a man. So women really have a wider range of voice. And I'm really jealous about that. <clears throat> oh, welcome back, Mana. It was past seven already, so Sachi was up and about. Onechan, mo kaeri. You too, Onechan. Eh? Ah, doukutsu kara ってことね Eh? Oh, from the cave. Dou datta no? How did it go? Jou yoyu datta. Super piece of cake. Now that was a lie if I had ever heard one. So da. Oh yeah, I got you a souvenir. Huh? Uh, she was was around under her pillow. <laughs> it's a cave stone. It was a fragment from a stalactite. She held it out in front of Mana. Mana, sunlight streamed in from the window, clearly illuminating the milky white stone. Did you manage to pick that up? Oh, this is from the one that had me stuck. It's a piece of what you broke off. You're giving that to Mana? Happy? Very! Oh, it's so cute. She gave a satisfied laugh after seeing Mana's reaction. <clears throat> Trying to butter Mana like that, how despicable. <laughs> hey, don't start acting out bitter just cause you forgot to get her a souvenir yourself. <laughs> don't give me that. I can see right through you. You're acting like a pet owner who got all mushy after giving the pet its favorite food. Pet? Pet? 
Don't tell me you don't know what a pet is. Chotto Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. She looked depressed. She looks sad. Hey, that's not funny. Um. この石は純粋に持って帰ったらマナが喜ぶかなって思ったんだから。I just took it with me because I thought it would make Mana happy. マナ、お姉ちゃんのペットでもいいよ。マナ is okay with being お姉ちゃん s pet。あんたは私の妹だってば。No, you are my little sister. Jesus, what was this? You too! You too! I slammed my palm against my forehead. Sweat poured from my paws. Oh, my palm, it's like that. You too! You too! You too! Mumble, mumble. You dare to show me such an absurd sisterly affection this early in the morning? Hey, calm down! You're going nuts again! Kenichi, Kenichi you are acting weird! Curse you, Mitsuhiro! My psychological analysis had you pegged as a self centered hedonist who would sell out her own family for money! Wow, that's harsh sounds considering what happened in episode before! I think that's going a little too far. Kenji, それ以上はマナ怒れる。No, Mana, don't be mad at me. Kenichi, I'm going to be mad if you keep saying that. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, good thing I had acted the part of the hero. Did what? I had never thought that Sachi would get a souvenir for Mana without me knowing about it. In the end, I guess two people who had lived together for so long couldn't be on that bad of terms with each other. Oh god, you, you done fucked up. Mana Mana will sleep now. She positively sprinted into the closet. I don't know, how can, how can a kid like that... I mean, yeah, I'm going to bed and will sleep all day. Then I wake up and work and then I go to bed and wake up and... Oh, God. I I, I can't fathom this, uh, those characters. And yeah, I finally stock up on something that I should have done a long time ago. Because I have now this, this, and then I have even more. I have all the water I need. And... Seriously, it's just water, but I really I really needed that water besides me So every time my throat gets All dried up or if I need to to cough or to do the mm. Then I can just take a zip And be done with it Ah, Mana, you're Ah, Mana, you're sleeping already? Hmm? What is it? Oh. I have a little extra cash. I thought we could go out and play. Oh? It would be fun, but... Oh god, now I get the hiccups. Great! I just had the hiccups. Ten minutes before I recorded. Sachi started acting a little awkward. I thought it might be nice to take a little break and clear up my fatigue from the cave trip. Sachi paints while Mana is asleep. That had been the rule they had abided by up until now. C come on, it's okay to go out and do something now and then, right? It's summer break after all. Uh. Wow, she doesn't look very happy to do something with her sister. 
would have loved to tell her to start painting again myself, but... I've had enough of paintings. I hate them. If they won't make anyone happy, then... Oh! Oh, oh, the, okay. It won't make anyone happy then. Well, Mana, it would make Mana happy. Ha Mana would be one of the happiest persons in the novel. That could prove difficult. Sachi, you're actually the kind of person who craves company, aren't you? Oh, I'm also that kind of person. I crave company as well, but I don't get as much as I would like to. Because I'm awkward. And anti-social. And really weird. As you probably could tell already. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I have you know that I'm way beyond being a lone wolf. I beg to differ. You invited me to live with you. And you picked up mana in the past. You hate sleeping alone, don't you? <laughs> oh man. Oh god, I don't know if I will ever find a girl like that out when I go outside. I mean, those kind of girls are not very often outside. That's the main problem, I guess. And it's even harder for me because I'm I'm at my late 20s and uh Meeting people is hard if you are not at school anymore, or in school, or any kind of facility where you meet something. Maybe I should really start to join clubs. But there are not many around me. Mana offered me a breathy vocalization of agreement. No, you guys are like my henchmen or something. Well, she had treated Isuno and me like henchmen back in the day. General Brad had always hated being alone. Alone. Hey, Kenichi, stop grinning like that. I guess you would get pretty insecure if no one paid attention to you. Wanted my painting to make everyone happy, but it just brought about a bunch of worry instead. She must have been really shocked when no one had liked her painting. Kenichi, Kenichi, stop staring at people's faces like you're plotting something. Oh, sorry, it's a habit. So. Are we going somewhere? Wait, what? Of, of course! We are going out for some pachinko! Oh man, was she serious? What is pachinko? You don't even have any money! She hadn't cashed in the diamond yet. Yeah, well, I've got something that's just as good! Looked like she was under the impression that fixed assets were the same as hard cash. Even if that were the case, as a special high class individual, I cannot allow you to gamble. Huh? Are you talking about that special guidance stuff? Indeed, starting today, you are prohibited from leaving the house. You are to work from home doing. Let's see, making artificial flowers sounds good. Wait, what? It's that you are prohibited from leaving the house? I think she's supposed to get out and get a job and work and stuff like that. And now she's prohibited from even leaving the house? You are to work from home doing. Let's see, making artificial flowers sounds good. Disobey me and it's off to the concentration camp for you. Eh? I thought you told me that you had no intention of enforcing laws that weren't a result of my obligation itself. Shut up, worm! From now on, you are to call me Ken Summer. 
What the fuck is wrong with him? And I have to emphasize the fuck because that's what happened in the last episode. They got so nitty gritty with each other. And as close as, as human beings could get. And now he's such a dick to her. I think you're getting drunk on power. Scary, aren't they? Special high class individuals, I mean. They can do whatever the hell they want to you and call it special guidance and no one will bat an eye. Then, isn't it bad for weirdos like you to be put in charge? How rude. I don't think you'll find a more human high class individual than me. Even I was surprised that I hadn't made it this far. Oh, so this is... So is that why the last guy acted like a machine? Indeed, many high-class individuals value a mechanical sort of efficiency above all else. That Hoizuki guy too? No, that man is no machine. You should avoid trying to categorize him so freely. Kenichi, you're serious all of a sudden? Eh? Really? So was it now a joke or was it... Or was he serious or did he just want it to prove a point? Yeah, your face got all scrunched up. Damn it, just thinking about that man was enough to get me wild up. So, once you see where we will find out. Anyway, forget that boring stuff. It's pachinko time, baby. I just told you not to. That's not an order, is it? It's a request as your henchman and freeloader. Wait, what? Then screw you! I've already been prohibited from gambling once. I could still exchange... I could still exchange money just fine at least. So now that I've taken over, gambling is a f is fair game? Sure, anyone would want to go if that were the case. Mana, let's go! Huh? So, he didn't do any... What? Sachi pretty much dragged Mana out of the womb, so he wasn't serious about what he said. So, he just wanted to show what he could do, but she... She disobeys him on the hunch that she knows that he was just acting? Hey! Sachi headed to an old-fashioned pachinko parlor in the shopping district. I still don't know what pachinko is. There were no customers, the pachinko stands were trashed, and God only knew when the last time they had cleaned the floor. And only God... And God only knew when the last time they had cleaned the floor had been, what? In other words, this place was in pretty bad shape. Okay, Mana, grab this. Like this? She gripped the handle. What is Pachinko? Mana, you're good luck, you know? Just leave the rest to me and fire away. Hey, Sachi. The scent of tobacco hung in the air, irritating, jingling noises persisted in the background. And the manager even had the nerve to talk over the mic. What? Hey everyone! I'd like to thank you for choosing our place today! Thank you very, 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 very much! At least her performance was decent enough. 
Was there even anywhere else to choose? Our machines are always winners! She was pretty enthusiastic considering that we were the only people here. Oh, Sachi, no! Woohoo! Big winnings already! Jingle, jingle, jingle. Mana, you're so awesome! What? Thank you very, very, very much for getting my money! Alright, Sachi, let's go. I pulled on her arm. <laughs> she clearly hadn't heard a word I had just said. Thank you truly very much! Can you get any more thankful? Onei-chan, there's more coming out! Jingle, jingle, jingle. Wait, is, the, is Pachinko a slot machine? Alright, come to mama! Wow, it just ain't stopping. And thus Sachi and Mana continued their adventures in the realm of Pachinko. Woo! We waked in the cash today thanks to Mana! Mana, Did I help you out? Are you done screwing around yet? Not yet! Sheesh, so where to next? We'll head home after eating some sushi! A sushi? A sushi? You guys, I swear to G, I felt like smacking my palm against my face. Phew, that was some good stuff. Thanks for the meal, Onei-chan. I have to say, the sushi wasn't bad for an inland town like this. Kenichi, you need to thank Onei-chan for treating you. Okay, thanks, bro. That didn't sound very sincere. Mana helped me on this too, you know. Money earned through gambling has no value. <clears throat> then throw up all the stuff you just ate. Kenichi, you didn't eat anything but the sea urchin. Don't harass me, sea urchin is the only sushi I can eat. How luxurious! That costs money, you know. Mana, don't go up to someone like Kenichi, okay? Hi. Sachi patted Mana's head, making her eyes light up. Is there anything you want? Wait, wait, wait. So, let me get this straight. They commit he committed to a full on relationship with Sachi. But he I have the feeling it didn't change any of the upcoming dialogues up until the very end. Could that be? Could that really be that it won't change anything? I mean, no idea I would understand why that is because it would be hard to write two different storylines depending on what you chose but that would at least show some commitment now it feels like they never they never banged and kissed in the first place and never confessed each other's love 
That's how that feels like. Oh, I'd like some new clothes. I'm getting pretty sick of these. Buy your own crap! Mana doesn't need anything. It'll be warming up pretty soon. How about some summer clothes? It's fine. Onei-chan's hand-me-downs are good enough. Come on, live a little. I'm fine. Stop on, aren't you? Oh. I like Onei-chan's smell. <laughs> so you're a pervert? Why is that perverted? I mean, for my own experience, it's really important to me how certain people smell because some people really smell awful, even though they can't, to me at least, even though they can't do anything against it. Some people just smell bad to me and some people smell good to me. And yeah. And I don't even put perfumes and deo into consideration. I mean the full on natural smell of a person can make all the difference how you feel towards a person. And I don't think there's anything perverted in it. Yeah. <clears throat> no, sometimes it smells like paint. Uh. Oh. Her face clouded over. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. She tried to dodge the issue. <laughs> I had a lot of fun today. Good night. She popped the medicine into her mouth. Oh, oh, I was just struggling what she meant, but now I know. <clears throat> Thanks for the stalactites. Take good care of it. Tachi slipped into bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I played with Onei-chan. I see. Painting was the only thing separating them from really being sisters. I get some sleep too. My wound had been bugging me ever since I got back from the cave. Wake me up when you get... When you go to the sup... When you... When you go the super... What? Wake me up when you go the supermarket, Mana. To the supermarket, isn't it? Okay, good night. I plopped myself down on the floor and prepared to get some shut eye. Onei-chan, Onei-chan! Onei-chan! What? What? I'm already stopped. Mana started laughing and tickling Sachi. <laughs> you little prankster! <laughs> dot, dot. I fell asleep. Leap while watching them out of the corner of my eye. Oh, that's just cute and precious. Dot dot. Dot dot. <clears throat> I checked the clock after I woke up. I had slept for around two hours. <sighs> huh? Mana wasn't here. It shouldn't have been time for her work just yet. Maybe she had gone shopping? I decided to head outside for a smoke. Ah, oh, God, what a bad habit. <sighs> Mana came tattering up to me while I was smoking. Oh, hey, did you go shopping? Mana shook her head. Something happened. What's up? Were you playing with friends? Mana, Mana doesn't have any friends. I see. Me neither. We are no friend buddies. Mm. Okay. She looked a bit pale. Mana, Wait, what? Mana, 
got called to the school. Hmm? The school? Who called you there? And why? Kenichi's superior called me. Sup superior? What did Pops want with you? Oh, the music. It seemed my bad feelings were never content to remain as just feelings. Um, Man, I can't work at the supermarket anymore. Anything else? What is it? Mana. What? Her smile grew more and more forced. Did he do something scary to you? <laughs> no, not scary. Um. Mana didn't know what to do. Oh no, don't tell me you going Don't cry Don't cry I understand. You don't need to say any more. I had discerned that it wasn't something to be taken lightly. I ceased my interrogation. What? What? Let's go back to Sachi's room. Uh, okay, sorry. I don't really understand. I held Mana's hand until we reached the door. She must have been pretty worn out. She fell asleep instantly. I headed to the school to question Pops. I arrived at the special guidance room. I felt a presence within. It's Morita. I have an urgent inquiry. I'm with the visitor. His response had been exceedingly quick, like he had known I would co be coming by. Bring Sachi here with you tomorrow at 8. I will explain what you wish to know then. He offered no room for argument. I understand. There was nothing I could do for now but turn back. As I was leaving though, I heard a foreign language coming from within the room. I came to a halt. It was the language of Mana's country. Uh oh. Don't tell me they found her parents. Apparently Pop's guest was a goodwill ambassador. Money. They were talking about money and a contract. They came to an agreement on some contract. I made a good purchase. Wait, what? Coming here was not a waste of my time. You are a great merchant. On behalf of our country, I thank you. Hey, what? This guy talked too much. He laughed vulgarly, showing his true colors. He wasn't very dignified for a diplomat. It was possible that he hadn't come here for public affairs. Insider transactions, perhaps? I see. I suddenly understood. I furiously gripped the door knot, but before I could burst in... This has nothing to do with you, Morita. Apparently he had known that I had been eavesdropping. In fact, he had probably wanted me to hear it. I left with a bad taste in my mouth. Don't tell me they take mana away. I will go full on berserk. I recalled Mana's words from the other day. He said he was from the same country as Mana. Yeah, he kind of stared at me in an unpleasant way. Mana had been sold. No! 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 No!
A new day arose. I, I don't let that happen. If I get the power to do something against that, I won't let it happen. I hadn't been able to sleep, well, despite my exhaustion. Sachi, it's almost seven. Alright, today I'm gonna... Uh -huh. She froze as soon as she saw my face. What's wrong? You look kind of serious. Yeah, that's what's written there. Serious? Oh! Serious? Plus severe. In other words, really bad. I'm sorry to put a damper on your mood, but we need to head to school soon. Why? Pops called us. I've been taking my medicine. It's not about that. It's about mana. Shades of doubt drifted across Sachi's face. I'm unsure of the details as well. Let's get going. I wouldn't leave her alone here. Please bring Mana to to Isuno. So even so, he he's he wouldn't give her up so easily. J uh, I I can see it coming that they just burst into a room, kidnapped her, even though she is sold. Which makes her property of some sort, which is a really, really weird thing to think. And I don't know. What, what, no. Uh, wait a sec. Come to think of it, Mana didn't go to the supermarket yesterday. Mana had been sleeping this whole time. She must have been really upset. I wonder what it is. I just hate that Hozuki guy. I have absolutely no idea what's going on in his head. More than with me? Nah, you're okay. You show what you're thinking on your face sometimes. And I've always gotten this kind of gentle vibe from you. I still had a long way to go. We need to hurry. We do not want to be late. Can we hold hands on the way there? Sachi. Sorry, I know I should take this more seriously. There's something I should warn you about. I spoke to Sachi while we were walking. I might seem a little different than usual when I'm talking to Pops. Please, try not to let it bother you. Oh, it's It's natural, isn't it? It's your job and all. I do all the talking. You just stand and watch. You got it. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. He's super scary. Excuse us. It's Morita and Mitsuhiro. Enter. I'll begin with the conclusion. Pop stared straight at me as soon as we entered the room. The look in his eyes was enough to make hell freeze over. He had moved his gaze to Sachi. And so the preparations for a speech were complete. Total intimidation. No! Mitsuhiro, the girl you call Mana, will emigrate to the Southern Kingdom and work for the Imperial household there. Sachi gasped beside me. Though you are not of kin, 
you are roommates, taking this into account, as well as the fact that, that this may have an effect on Modita's guidance, I have decided to notify you. Do you have any questions? Y yes, please. How about no? Hoizuki had attempted to lighten the atmosphere, no matter how slightly. Tachi, shut up! You're not supposed to talk. I, I have a lot of them, but... I give you my permission to ask them. First, I don't really understand what you're saying. Morita, explain the situation to her. I chose my words carefully. Mana will be returning to her home country to provide service to the Imperial Court. Service to the court? It's kind of like being a mate. In their country, it is a position of highest honor, held only by the elect. Pops butted in. Then, it's a good thing for Mana? I couldn't say that in good conscience. Well, it's certainly dressed up rather pleasantly, but the reality is quite different. Oh no, the worst thing just popped up into my head. Oh, and I get Boku no Pico flashbacks. But not in the pleasant way, and it is already very unpleasant, so it's double the unpleasantness? I never actually watched Boku no Pico, but I saw a heavily censored version and that already messed a lot with my ever so subtle heads. Sometimes imagining things is far worse than what actually happens. Oh, that's actually pretty deep. I mean, no, oh, whatever, let's... Oh, what kind of job is it? Taking care of the king. By doing what? They carry the food to them, launder the clothes, clean the room, and though this is only a rumor, they... They have to bang him! Come on, tell it! She's getting sexually abused there as soon... And we are not even sure if this will only happen if she comes of age. Morita. Morita. Whoa. I'm the dick here and I have to make you suffer. Hoizuki suddenly stood up. Yes? Their country is on good terms with ours. Kiss your baseless slender. But we're on good terms in name only. That's an order. Oh god, I didn't really did that good. That's an order. Uh, understood. My feet were glued to the floor. Mitsuhiro, you are also forbidden to press Morita for details and get him into a sticky situation. Do you understand? Hi. No! Mana is my favorite character! <laughs> Mana is the cutest character in the whole thing so far, and they are taking her away? Hoizuki's abuse of me had probably yet to flee from her memory. Are there any other questions? Is there a way to stop it? I needed to ask him about the conversation yesterday. May I ask who your visitor yesterday was? I do not wish to hear the sniveling of an eavesdropping wet attempting to warm his way into answers. 
Hobbs was not a man who could be nickel and dimed into revealing an answer. I collected myself and asked him bluntly, How much was mana sold for? How much money does the country gain by selling mana? What do you? Sachi's face filled with pallor and her knees started to shake. The ambassador seems to have taken a great liking to that girl. He said that, there was, that she resembled the king's now deceased daughter. As for the amount, Mizuki stated the figure. It wasn't a particularly high price for the life of a person, but it wasn't an amount one could pay privately. Yeah, can't anything be done? The payment is in three days. After that, the girl leaves the country. So if we can prepare a larger sum within three days, we can detain mana? That would not be impossible. As I had predicted. So wait, what? So we can outbuy her if we pay more money for her than they paid for her. So... Oh, is this a trick? I think this is part of the exam for the sole reason she has to get a job to to waste enough money to pay out and this is some kind of a twisted sick and evil motivation for her to get her butt up and do stuff to get the money to pay out in less than three days come on the country wouldn't care whose money it was as long as they got it we just had to I hate to use this term, but by her first, before some shady imperials could get their hands on her. Did you hear that, Sachi? Uh, mm. The diamond! We can, we can sell the diamond! And that would provide us enough money to sell her out. Cashing in the diamond would probably give us enough to cover it. Any further questions? No. Mitsuhiro, you seem to like. You seem like you're trying to uh, Mitsuhiro, you seem like you want to ask something. N no, not really. You may come back any time if you have questions. Sachi? Sachi left the room without a word. Excuse me. I followed behind her. Sachi, what's wrong? Nothing? No, come on. It doesn't look like nothing. I was just thinking about something. The gaze was unfocused. What's there to think about? We just have to sell the diamond and that's that. Why? You don't get it? We can save mana if we sell the diamond. So, so da yo ne. Uh, I guess so. De, de mo, ka ka na? But do you think we can manage that in three days? Just who do you think I am? I can have a Julia friend of mine get right on it. Amazing! You have friends like that, huh? I do a bit of exchange myself. You have a bank account, right? I can just have the money transferred there. But will he really give you the money without even seeing the diamonds? Wouldn't you usually need to see it in person first? He's a guy who has built his business upon trust. 
Really? That's a little bit oblivious, isn't it? Uh, I see. Man, good thing we have that diamond, huh? For a second there, I thought we were screwed. So that, yeah. Let's get going. Yeah, we need to reassure Mana. I think she is a little bit conflicted. On the one hand, the diamond could get her wit of the obligation. On the other hand, there's Mana. But I think we all know what I would choose if given the opportunity. I sighed in relief. I'm really glad to hear that, Sachi. I'd like to apologize for doubting you, even for a moment. I'm really sorry. I couldn't keep something like this to myself. My shame was too great to look Sachi straight in the face. What did it? What? What? what the, uh, this? This was going a little bit over my head. How did he doubt her? In what regard did he doubt Sachi? Oh, the very thing I said! It's the very thing I said! Oh my god, that's really it? Wow, I I have the inside, man. I have the inside. You, you didn't think I'd use the diamond money for myself, did you? I'm really sorry. I hate myself for thinking that. <laughs> it, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> if I sell the diamond, I can get rid of my obligation. It's natural for you to suspect me. You are the kind of guy who would recognize a danger like that. Why don't we just call it an occupational hazard and leave it at that? Maybe. Bannoning and suspecting my friends. What the hell was wrong with me? Yeah! What the hell is wrong with you? You are really sincere. That wasn't true at all. Come on, stop being so down. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. I'm gonna be busy with some phone calls, okay? I really hope we can get that money. There's nothing impossible for me. Whoa, whoa, fight the power! When we returned to the room, we found Mana sitting on the floor, wallowing in her own dolor. And I'm going to be a dick right now because I'm going to leave this episode right here. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Leave a like if you did. Share it with your friends. All this stuff would help me out so much. You have no way of knowing that. Well, actually, you have all the way of knowing that. I mean, it's natural that if you share this, I get recognized more. I've been seen more and I could get more feedback and comments and have more people to talk to and maybe have a grand old time so yeah i hope i will see you in the next episode stay tuned for more